hundred of your friends and neighbors stand to get deployed over the next year. The Rhode Island National Guard announced the mobilizations this morning. Some Army Guardsmen will be going to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba for security operations, while members of the Air National Guard will be going to Bagram Air, ba Air Base in Kabul, Afghanistan. Eyewitness News reporter Nick Nuosu has the developing news with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Elizabeth, been since 9-11, roughly 4,200 Rhode Island National Guardsmen have been deployed. That is the second highest per capita deployment rate in the country. And today they announced that additional Guardsmen will be sent to help fight the global war on terror. 800 Rhode Island National Guardsmen will deploy to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, Afghanistan, Kuwait, and other to-be-determined locations. The Rhode Island National Guard has never been better postured to answer this nation's call to duty. Which means a second deployment for 23-year-old Sergeant Johnny Walker. As long as the family supports you, then you really have no problems going over again. It's really about the guy next to you, either side, and also the commander-in-chief, you know, he tells us to go where we go. Currently, only 35 Rhode Island National Guardsmen are deployed, but now they say there is an increased need in places like Afghanistan. The Guard says they can safely help efforts abroad while keeping us safe at home. We have been staffed at or near 100 percent of capacity in the Rhode Island National Guard. As a result, I have assured the governor that the deployment of these 800 plus troops will not diminish our ability to respond to his call will be staggered beginning in September when 200 guardsmen are sent to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Live at the Rhode Island National Guard headquarters here in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Nick Anwosu, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Nick.